Fiero GT. The following movie is rated I. I'm gonna go help out a guy who's got a Fiero. Hasn't run in a while, and I guess it's not starting. So let's do a little Fiero rescue in the Fiero. Yeah, I saw this car cover. It's actually like a car bubble that you drive your car on and you put the cover over and then you zip it all up and it's a completely sealed car cover. That sounds like it might be a good idea for mice because I'll guarantee you they're in here. I don't like it. I haven't washed this since I painted it. <laughs> Poor old Minnie hasn't moved since I went kayaking either. Let's see if old girls start going to Florida in a couple days. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Take this older Loki Thor jump pack. The other one's packed up, ready to go to Florida. I think I got a very slow antifreeze leak, I noticed. And this is up on a lift when it was getting painted. Oh yeah, look. Look at these little bastards. I'm gonna have to order one of them covers, I think. Boy, I hate mice. Yeah, it's a little low. Oh, dumb. Let's go, Fiero. My FedEx driver told me about this white Fiero that was sitting there for a long time. So I drove over to look at it, see if the guy wanted to sell it. He doesn't, but I told him I'd give him a hand to get it running. Probably be the last ride of the season. By the time I get back from Florida, some cocky weather. This thing is fun to drive. Let's see how accurate this speedometer is. 38. It's actually showing 36, so it's a little slow. Service engine soon light. What the heck? There it is, boys. So this is Jody's '85 Fiero. It's a mess. Yeah, well, it's been sitting under cover, right? This was your dad's car, you said? He bought it uh, well, from bought someone? It. The two of us bought it originally and then we brought it down to Florida. I drove it for like two years down here and didn't want it to see any more winter time, so. Right. It's in good shape, though. Yeah, it, it, it should clean up with a buffing wheel and stuff, right? Oh, yeah. And it's a SE V6, so. Yeah. 2M6 to be exact. Nice. How many miles? 52,000. Wow. Definitely worth some money in the Fiero market. Yeah, let me put a let me put the jump pack and get it spun over good. You want to try it again? Turn it on, let me listen. Yeah, I don't hear anything from the fuel pump. Do you have starting fluid? I don't think I do. Good. Yeah, plenty. Plenty of spark. So we've determined it's definitely the fuel pump because it's been sitting 11 years. We're gonna have to have someone drop the tank. Yeah, we did try. Yeah, I'm sure it's. I'm sure it's got to be the fuel pump. It has to be. You can't hear anything running with the gas cap off, and the relay is clicking. The fuse is good. You got power all the way up to it, so it's got to go on a lift. Get the tank dropped. Go on a lift. At least we tried. We did try. Well, thank you for coming over. I appreciate it. No problem. Well, we tried. So he's going to keep in touch and as soon as he gets his fuel pump fixed, we might have to do a cruise. we got a key tag I want to drop off and uh, that'll be it for today's episode, boys. What the heck was that? Jeebus!
Jason went over free key tag for first comment. Thanks, camera on. Put a little extra something in that one for you. Next video you'll see from me will be down in Florida. Getting a tire and wheel balancer. 86,000 miles on my Jeep, original tires and 35 inch tires. Can't believe it, but it's the truth. I think he's a wizard. I'm gonna throw some new tires on the Jeep down there once I get my tire balancer and tire machine. More tools for the shop. So yeah, I'll see you guys down in Florida. That's right. Till next spring. Is that a Pontiac Fiero? Impressive. I know. No. No, that's not impressive. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products to use are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.